Dear friends, today we will discuss the process of outcome based education implemented and followed at Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottayam, Kerala. Welcome you all to this session. The successful strategy of outcome based education is creating an achievable goal, be it short term or long term, while allowing students to feel responsible for their own learning. The move to outcome based education has been one of the most important trends in recent years. Our university had implemented OBE from the academic year 2021. As we know, William G. Spaddy is known as father of outcome based education who is an academic educational psychologist and sociologist. In OBE, mainly there are three levels of outcomes such as PO that is program outcomes then PSOs program specific outcomes then COs course outcomes program outcomes or POs represent the knowledge skills and attitudes that all students are required to attain at the time of graduation from any program. POs are non-specific to a program. The NAC requires that every university or deemed to be university identify its own set of POs that need to be attained by all its general programs. Mahatma Gandhi University have framed 10 program outcomes that is every student enrolling master's program in Mahatma Gandhi University is expected to achieve these 10 program outcomes. Program specific outcomes or PSOs. Program specific outcomes or PSOs are outcomes that are specific to a program. All programs should be designed and conducted to attain the POs identified by the university and PSOs identified by the concerned school of studies. The PSO statement stated with one or more action verbs. The action verbs should be followed by clearly identified technical objects and if required by the conditions under which the actions are to be performed. Here is an example. It is the 10 PSOs framed for Masters in Education program in Mahatma Gandhi University and we can see the mapping of PSO to POs for MED program. Then the last level is Course Outcomes or COs. Course Outcomes or COs represent what the student should be able to at the end of a course. They will be discipline and subject specific. The most important aspect of a CO is that it should be measurable. Here is an example of a course outcome of one course in a MED program named Instructional Design. There are six course outcomes. Here you can see the mapping of each CO to the corresponding PSOs and also learning levels. And we have to measure each learning level with the help of appropriate action verbs. We fixed the learning levels as per Bloom's taxonomy. So for each course, we frame course outcomes and fixes learning levels. While considering a question paper, we need to note the CO and learning levels of for each question as shown in sample. Mahatma Gandhi University designed a spreadsheet for the PO, PSO, CO computation. Here we go to the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet, we can see four different sheets showing internal, external, CO, PSO attainment, PSO, PO attainment. Consider the sheet external. We enter question wise acquired mark by student and its corresponding maximum marks. Then we need to calculate CO 
and learning level attainment percentage of each student with the help of CO mapping. Then finds the average percentage of each CO and learning level attainment. Then we can move to CO PSO sheet. Here first we need the prefixed target of each CO attainment. Then direct attainment of COs is calculated as per CSS in the ratio 40 is to 60 of internal and external. Thus we get overall direct attainment. Then the indirect attainment of CO is done through course exit survey. Overall CO attainment is calculated by taking direct and indirect CO attainment in the ratio 90 is to 10 and compare the overall CO attainment with target. Then we do gap analysis and closing the loop on CO. If overall attainment is less than target then we take remedial measures by including more stress on experiential learning, participatory learning and problem solving methods. If the overall attainment is greater than or equal to the target, then enhance the target for further improvement. Now we move on to PSO attainment computation. Here we create a strength matrix based on CO PSO mapping using the rule first one if it is greater than 40 percentage of classroom sessions addressing a particular PSO it is considered that PSO is addressed at a level 3. If 25 to 40 percentage of classroom sessions addressing a particular PSO it is considered that PSO is addressed at level 2. If 5 to 25 percentage of classroom sessions addressing a particular PSO, it is considered that PSO is addressing at level 1. If less than 5 percentage of classroom sessions addressing a particular PSO, it is considered that PSO is considered not addressed. After fixing levels, compute PSO attainment by taking the weighted average in the strength matrix by taking the overall CO attainment normalized to 0 to 1. PSO attainment computation of a program. Set target for PSO attainment. Find the PSO attainment of each course in percentage in all semesters as above steps from 1 to 10. That is as we discussed for uh, course outcomes to PSOs. Find average PSO attainment of all courses in all semesters considering as direct PSO attainment. Then find the indirect PSO attainment by program exit survey. Find overall PSO attainment by taking direct and indirect method in the ratio 90 is to 10 and gap analysis and closing the loop on PSO. If overall attainment is less than the target, then take remedial measures for all courses in the school. If the overall attainment is greater than or equal to the target, then enhance the target for further improvement. Now, PO attainment of a program. Create a strength matrix based on PSO to PO mapping using the formula rule. If greater than 40 percentage of total classroom sessions of a PSO addressing a particular PO, it is considered that PO is addressed at level 3. And if 25 to 40 percentage of total classroom sessions of a PSO classroom sessions addressing a particular PO, it is considered that PO is addressed at level 2. If 5 to 25 percentage of total classroom sessions of a PSO classroom sessions addressing particular PO, it is considered that PO is addressing at level 1. If less than 5 percentage of total classroom sessions of a PSO classroom sessions addressing a particular PO, it is considered that PO is considered not addressed. 
and to compute PO attainment by taking the weighted average in the strength matrix by taking the PO attainment normalized to 0 to 1. Send the attainment value of each PO or, uh, that is in percentage to IQSC. PO attainment for all programs for an uh, admission batch compiled at IQSC. Consider the target for each PO attainment already set by IQSC at the beginning of the program. Find the average PO attainment of all programs. Then gap analysis and closing the loop on PO. If overall attainment is less than the target, then take remedial measures to, to be applied to all programs across the schools. If the overall attainment is greater than or equal to the target, then enhance the target for further improvement. These are the steps involved in outcome-based ev evaluation process followed by Mahatma Gandhi University, Kottayam, Kerala. Thank you for being with us. Have a great day.